new project. <laughs> Um, so th this is just a couple of slides on something we've been working on, which will is the idea is to help users see what is stored in their group workspace more. Um, so we've, we're aware that this has been a really big problem for users. Um, you've got a group workspace full of stuff. Um, it's hard to see what's there. The normal tools, if you've got a really big group workspace, just don't work properly because they need to scan through all these millions of files. Um, so we've come up with a, a solution and user interface to this, which will hopefully help. Um, so we have a scanner that we run that scans all of the group workspaces. Um, and it probably takes about sort of two to three weeks to scan all of the group workspaces. Um, so that's the frequency that you'll get new data in this tool. And that walks through all of the files in all of the group workspaces, uh, classifies them, adds up the total amount of storage space, and spits it out into our Elasticsearch database to be able to be used in visualization for the user in real time. Um, so the data is stored, and you can go, as a user, you can go to gjrfscanner.jasmine.ac.uk. And the idea is that you'll be able to have a nice clicky, through the file system hierarchy of the group workspaces to see the size, count, and heat and type of the files that you've got. Uh, I'm sorry this isn't a demonstration, but in the uh, real thing, you've got these squares. You can click on a square, and then you'll go into that folder and see everything below that folder. Um, so that's the top of the page. Um, there's a few options there. You can scale the tiles by count instead. And it's interesting. The things that take the, the thing that takes the scanner the most amount of time is if you've got lots and lots and lots of files rather than if they're really big. Um, and you can also color them by heat, which is some definition of how recently a file might have been used. I'll, I'll come on to that in a second. Um, it, I would say the click down hierarchy doesn't go on forever. Um, just in the interest of not storing vast amounts of data in Elasticsearch. Um, I can't off the top of my head remember what the default is set on, but you'll be able to go about 10 down. And then it's not that that data wasn't included in the scan. It's just not available for visualization. Uh, it just says uh, un unindexed children, this much stuff is below here, but I don't know what it is. Um, so just this is me scrolling down the page. Um, each file, the file layer that you're in, you can get a graph of what users own the stuff there. Um, so in this folder, there's a few, a lot of it might be owned by NFS Nobody. That's somebody who's probably left, doesn't have a Jasmine account anymore. You can get a file type breakdown, although the file type breakdown is just guessed based on the file extensions that you use. Um, we don't do any scanning inside files. Um, it's already taking three weeks, and it would take a lot longer if we opened the files as well. Um, and there's also this heat breakdown, which is used, uses the files A time, so last time it was accessed, um, and bins these up into how long ago the file was last accessed. There are some caveats there if you're accessing files on a file system that's mounted read-only. The A time might not be updated. Um, but it gives an indication of how many files are stored without anyone having even looked at them for a period of time. Uh, I think I've covered all of the points on that slide. Um, that was my two slides on the Group Workspace Scanner. This is a tool that is available, I would say now, when Jasmine's back. Um, if there are more things that you think would be useful or that we can add, It'd be good to hear your feedback. But any questions? Are you gonna? Are, is this tool gonna be adapted to show when things have been offloaded onto tape by NLBS? Uh, that is be quite cool. not something we, we had considered at the moment. I think that it could. Because there's a you can see there. There's fifty percent of that data could probably be moved straight to tape. Yeah. Um, without impacting anybody because it's not been accessed for over a year. Yeah. So it'd be nice to be able to visualize what's on disk and what's on the object store and what's on tape. Yes, that would be a really useful thing. We haven't planned to do that at the moment, but 
I'll write it down. <laughs> um, and also, yeah, like I say, it's asynchronous and it takes a long time to scan. Some of the group workspaces take a few days to scan. So I can't, you, you can't trigger one for me now. And I'm afraid if you, if you've solved this problem, you'll have to wait, you know, a few weeks before you actually see it reflected in the data. Who will have access to this? Will it be just the group workspace manager or everyone? At the moment, everybody. Who, everyone who can access that group workspace. You can only see your own group workspaces. Thanks.